Welcome back, everybody, to another cryptocurrency news article. This one comes from Decrypt and BlackRock refiles for Bitcoin ETF after the SEC flags flaws. So yes, after reports that the SEC found flaws in its initial filing, BlackRock submitted a fresh application for a Bitcoin spot marked ETF. If successful, it would be the first Bitcoin spot ETF to win approval. Again, we'll see who wins it first. Like, uh, it wasn't just BlackRock. It was everyone who submitted an ETF filing had a flaw in it. And, yeah, it looks like I think BlackRock is the first one to refile. I believe everyone else did as well. This is just BlackRock news. But BlackRock has submitted an amended application for an exchange-traded fund that would focus on Bitcoin spot mark markets after the regulators expressed misgivings about its first attempt. In a new filing submitted on its behalf by the NASDAQ exchange, BlackRock said that it will be finalizing a surveillance agreement with Coinbase, addressing one of the main objections the Securities and Exchange Commission has raised when rejecting applications for Bitcoin spot ETFs in the past. Now, the spot BTC SSA is expected to be a bilateral surveillance sharing agreement between NASDAQ and Coinbase that is intended to supplement the exchange's market surveillance program. Now read the filing. The proposed ETF will rely on Coinbase, the largest crypto exchange in the United States, as its custodian and for its spot market data for pricing. Coinbase also has an agreement to provide similar services. Fidelity, which is seeking its own Bitcoin spot ETF. Bitcoin price surged after news broke that BlackRock's the world's largest asset manager with $9.5 trillion under its management in the first quarter of 2023 was filing for the ETF. Since the filing was first reported on June 15th, Bitcoin's price has risen by about 20%, especially as more firms piled in on submitting their own ETF filings. This bullishness was strong enough that the market shrugged off a June 30th report in the Wall Street Journal that the SEC found BlackRock's application to be inadequate. The warning shot did not take long to resonate across the industry, now with exchange operator CBOE quickly modifying its application for a spot ETF on behalf of Fidelity the same day as the Wall Street Journal reported. Now, registering a Bitcoin ETF with the SEC has been a difficult task, especially for funds dealing with spot market trading. To date, not a single application for such a spot ETF has been approved by the SEC due to concerns about potential fraud or manipulation in the spot market. By contrast, the SEC has approved four Bitcoin ETFs for futures tradings. Now, an ETF is a type of investment product tied to commodities, currencies, stocks, or bonds that allows investors to have skin in the game without actually owning a particular asset. A Bitcoin ETF allows investors to invest in the world's oldest and largest cryptocurrency without having to hold it themselves. Rather, they just buy shares that track the asset's price. And in this market, guys, it's like a, us crypto people know. Not your keys, not your coins. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. So it's like a... Why would you want to be in an ETF in the first place? But hey, like, I don't know. This is the biggest news of it all. So will BlackRock get this ETF? I think so. Will, it be, will they be the first one? We'll see. Or will they all be approved at the same time? Who knows? But we just got to wait and find out. But yeah, things are looking very bullish for Bitcoin. So the happening is just coming up. The price... Uh, spikes are coming soon, so eh, we'll see. But if you guys did enjoy this article read through, smash that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel, and until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.